Hello, welcome to our lecture, the community of Clarkshorn in Alberta. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about this community close to Calgary and what you can find interesting if you want to choose it as the community to settle in Canada with you and your family. Let's take a look at this interesting community. Clarkshorn is a town located within southern Alberta, Canada. It is located on Highway 2 approximately 91 kilometers northwest of the city of Lethbridge and 125 kilometers south of the city of Calgary. The population, based on the numbers and statistics of 2016, are 3,780 people. So based on the last numbers and information provided by Townfolio, 3,780 people live in the town of Clarkshorn, Alberta. And we can see the household income. Basically, it composed of a large population of middle class people. And the average household income is around 57,664, which 140 total number of visible minorities. The median age in the community is 54, it's a little older. So the reason and the the fact that largest age cohort is 65 to 69 can tell you that they really need some new blood coming to the community to continue the economy and the standard of living of the community there's around a number of aboriginal population 170 when it comes to the labor force the majority of workers are in concentrated in the healthcare sector followed by people working in retail, manufacturing, and construction. There's a big labor force occupation by sales and services, and trade and transportation. Also, healthcare and education represent a good share of the labor force occupation. We can see that the unemployment rate is around 7.2, about the average of Canada, and the largest industry is healthcare, and the largest occupation is sales and services. When we come to taxes, we can see that the first 48,535 is a 15% for the federal personal income tax and continue to increase to 20.5, 26, 29, and 33. If you earn around $214,368 a year. At the provincial level, you have the first 131,220 ten percent which tell you that if you earn less than 131 220 you don't have to pay personal income tax then after that amount you have several brackets that go from 10 12 13 14 and 15 base of the bracket that you see here in the graph when you come to temperatures you can see that the coldest month are February and March going from minus 33 to minus 34.9 and the average snowfall happens around March with 20.8 centimeters followed by February and November. The highest temperature during the summer is around 33 Celsius and the lowest is minus 35 Celsius. The most stable month of the winter time is December and the most un unpredictable month is March. When it comes to home ownership, the big chunk of the population in the city or community owns their home with 1,250 homeowners, only 395 people renting in the community. The biggest dueling by bedroom is the four or more bedrooms with 535 dueling's, and followed by the three bedroom and the two bedrooms. The average housing prices in 2016 was 255,832. The majority of people use a bit on a vehicle for transportation, followed by walking and vehicle passengers. 83.51% of the population are vehicle drivers, and the business time on the road is between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. We can see that the majority of the people living in classroom are high school educated or have no certificate followed by apprenticeship apprenticeships and university 
the major field of study of the people living in the community are engineering and related technology, health and related fields, business management and public administration, and social sciences and education. When come to business, the majority of the employers are with less than four employees in small businesses, followed by people with between five and nine employees and 20 and 49 employees. Agriculture is the biggest, the biggest industry in the community, followed by real estate, other services, and retail and construction. There's around 31 businesses focused on healthcare and 104 focused on real estate. Mining and oil businesses are the minority. And now let's take a look at their website. And here we are at the website of the town of Clerchon in Alberta. Uh, you can see here for visitors, you can take a look at their map. They have a map with showing you everything about the community. So it's very interesting to see and you can find that in the main website. So this is the map of the community. And you can see it's now a very big community in extension. But the good thing is that the opportunity that they looking for immigrants that can fulfill the requirements and serve in this nice community. So we suggest you to check this website. They have several choices for visitors, the town map, get active. You can see the activities that are done around the community like aquatic center, the arena, parks and pathway, golf course, agri -plus, sporting and leisure facilities, campground. You can also see the sites, stay a while or check the lifestyle. So if we see the size of the community, they have different attractions. They have regional attractions, historical murals, our water tower and museums and industrial airport. So you, take, you can check the water tower. Then you have a, a little information about it with a little history. Regional attractions, then you can have a list of all the attractions that they have around the community, etc. So this is a good way to explore. Remember, you need to know about the community because in this chance of an interview, you need to prove that you really do your due diligence, trying to investigate about the history and the main amenities of the community. And I suggest you to check Facebook and YouTube pages when you can check the community and learn about it. We also can see that they have different opportunity for in comes to information for businesses, including the rural and northern immigration pilot. They have also for residents, town services, community services, cost of living, development, health, learning. They have also information about government services and a directory for businesses. So if we go to the directory of businesses, we can see the map here. This is the town. And between Lesbridge and Calgary, just in between those two, this is in the province of Alberta. This is a border with the USA, so it's not very far from Montana, USA. Then you see other provinces like Saskatchewan with Regina. So of course, we go deeper and deeper, we can check in this map. We can go and continue. And you can check the map and have a better idea of the community. If you can take out zooming, this is the community specifically. And here we are in the community. You can have a visual of the community. You can print it. You can check everything. Another thing is you have here a direct directory. For example, if you want to know about construction and I click construction, I can see the different companies that are focused on construction. Not only I can see it, I have a contact information, phone number, I have the email, and I can have the website also to learn about that company. So if I'm looking for companies in finance, I can see the location of the companies of finances here. All right. I'm looking, I work, let's imagine that I work in restaurant. 
so I click restaurants and it's gonna tell me the restaurants that are in the community one two three four restaurants if I click here then I have the list of the of, the, of those restaurants and I can have the phone number the email and the website if I click here it's gonna take me to the website of the restaurant in this case it's a chain a and w very popular in canada i can follow them in facebook twitter youtube or instagram and based on the location i can contact them if they have any job i can take an opportunity just go into the career section when you click the career section that you will have opportunity to find jobs with that specific brand you need to put just the place that you apply for you're looking for the town everything and download the application so that way you can use that tool coming just from the website of Clarkson I can do the same other restaurants that they have there Tim Hortons that is so popular if I have more experience in transportation let's imagine that I'm a driver it's going to take the restaurant off. I'm going to take the construction off. Okay, so now I just select transportation. So I need, I can see the company that is doing transportation here. I can click directly here. It tell me the name, the phone number, and the directions. And they have another list also of other companies too. That are based on transportation taxi services things like that again it's very useful map i suggest you to take a look at it and that way you can contact employers if they are if they don't know like you can contact an employer but they don't know about the program then you can refer it then here to this to, to the website and they can learn the information for business for the northern immigration pilot program okay so i hope you enjoy this information and we hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much.